All right, hi everyone, and welcome to First Striker. This is the first video on my new YouTube channel. I'm gonna be doing Cobra Kai videos. We've got two seasons of Cobra Kai in the books, and we've got them on YouTube, and they're coming to Netflix. Now, I've been watching, and there's a lot of crazy theories out there, and there's a lot of people talking about Cobra Kai, and I wanna get in on a party. Come join the party with me, man. We're gonna see if we can get some likes and some subscriptions out of this video but the title of the video hey is this the moment that changed the game and so in this video i want to talk about a theory that i have that i haven't heard anybody talking about i haven't heard anybody talking about it i've heard this scene talked about i've heard people you know talk about the scene but i haven't heard anybody really dive in to what it meant so let's set the scene up for you all right we're talking about cobra kai season two episode 10 we found out Miguel was in the hospital. Uh, Samantha had been in the hospital. She just got stitched up. Johnny just got bought out by Miguel's mom. Daniel just got bought out by his wife. And now both of them are leaving. And we see them. They wind up in the same elevator before. I think this moment gets a whole, like it doesn't get enough attention. A lot of people. You know, they're like, yeah, they were in the elevator, they were pissed, and, you know, they could have threw down, and they just didn't want to say nothing to each other, they hated each other, and I, I see that, that's not a big deal for me, that's not a problem to accept that, but I have a little bit different take on this scene, if you will, like, so indulge me for a minute when I talk about it, if, if you really go back and you watch it, and you look at it, they stood in the elevator, they stayed silent, but the look on their face, to me, to me at least, said something completely different i think it was the moment that changed the game between the two of them you got to remember what just happened there was this big school rumble uh i was fighting people wound up in the hospital people wound up you know it, getting in trouble some are going to go to jail some are going to get suspended lots of bad things happen and why did it happen because of daniel and johnny's rivalry these kids had no beef with each other they were you know they were they were pretty much all good to go until you know the the two dojos started uh, going to war and why did they go to war because of, of Johnny and Daniel uh, they I think I think in this moment I really do I believe that in this moment they realized that they took their rivalry their heat their hatred for each other their their you know dislike for each other at the very least way too far and people got hurt now it has to be a, a low sinking feeling for them. It's got to be, it's got, you know, it, it, it can't feel good. It can't feel good knowing that you, you know, that you caused this. And I think they, I think they realized in this moment that they caused it. It's on them. It's because of their rivalry and, uh, you know, their, their beef with each other that this happened. So let, let's pretend for a second that I'm right. What does that mean for the future? What, is that, what does that mean for the future? To me, I think they're going to have to make a conscious decision, and I think they might, to go ahead and squash it and maybe even work together or at the very least stay out of each other's way. At the, at the, at the bare, bare minimum, uh, stop making accusations about each other. They just aren't necessarily true. This whole show is, is amazing to me, and I love it because it's always a series of, of misunderstandings or, or like slight missteps or it being too little too late it's 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 a complete you know if they would just hear each other for a minute or they would sh you know be in the right place at the right time they would get it and it doesn't it's 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 a series of unfortunate events and i think they're starting to see that and i think uh i i think this elevator scene shows uh the remorse uh the and the self-awareness of what just happened now, i've talked you know um, i've talked to a few people about this theory and and they give it you know they give it some play they give it some play but uh you know, again, I'm not sure there was blame or anger there at this point. Um, to me, it was more like an "oh no, we screwed up" kind of deal. And so, what are we? You know, and, and they don't know how to fix it. They're clueless as to how to fix it. They had no idea that it was going to go this far. Um, you know, so so what does it mean? If I'm right, what does it mean? Does it mean Daniel and Johnny working together, at least uh, trying to, you know, at the very least trying to put aside to make things right? Um, how does it play into season three? Not a clue. You know, uh, there's not a lot of information on season three out there. There's not a lot of teaser information. There's not a lot of spoiler information. We don't even have we don't we don't even have a trailer yet. So you have no idea how them two realizing that they that, that they're at rock bottom with themselves and their dojos 
is, is going to play into season three. And believe me, I'm looking forward to finding out. I'm looking forward to finding out how they, you know, how they navigate this and how they work around it. And, and you know, we might start getting hints of it. We might start seeing we might start seeing some glimpses of it once we get a trailer. But until we do that, it's all fun. It's all speculation. And I'm having a lot of fun uh, watching other people speculate, speculate with other people. And that's exactly why I'm doing this channel. So what do you think? Do you think this was that aha moment that Daniel and Johnny realized, oh crap, we're not kids anymore. We are accountable to our families and to other people. We really screwed this up. Or do you think it was something else? Put it down in the comments. Let me know. Also, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of these videos. I got a lot of stuff I want to say about Cobra Kai. It's easily the best thing on TV today. So if you're interested in what I got to say and you want to hear more, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, and we will definitely see you in the next one. Until then, no mercy!